if you are competent in sort of technical things like mathematics, you are very much desired by many, many companies and academics and people in uh, situations like that. A pure mathematician is driven by curiosity and understanding uh, the deeper things, geometry, uh, the shape of things, and algebra, how to solve equations, and number theory, which is my field, which is the study of whole numbers. If you're a young person and looking what to go into, uh, unlike when I started in this, where, as I said at the beginning, I didn't even realize you could be a professional mathematician, I think that the general public is even aware that mathematicians are there, they are part of modern technology and modern science, and are an integral part. Um, it's the way physics used to be many years ago, mathematics is sort of taking that place. I was on a visiting committee here to evaluate uh, research, mathematical research across South Africa about six years ago. We went over to all the universities and it was clear that the, some of the weaknesses in the universities was the lack of people coming in with good training. Uh, these are the problems were early on. Those problems exist in every country, firstly. Even in the United States, the high school, most high schools uh, do not have good, uh, they're up to snuff uh, mathematical teaching. It's a problem with a society that, that doesn't, I think, appreciate the importance of mathematics teachers early on. But you have to have the, the, the teachers to do that. So I think once you bring in uh, qualified teachers, and uh, people are working very hard on this, uh, and they are very enthusiastic and they uh, stimulate the, the students. The students have tremendous talent, they just need to be fired up. A lot of mathematics is about understanding structure. Patterns is like part of structure. Uh, and in many cases these things are well below the surface. So. Uh, we experiment with simple special cases and then try and understand more difficult cases. And somehow the beauty of the subject is uh, that things seem to fall in place, or maybe we choose the problems so that they do and we throw away the problems that aren't elegant and beautiful. But uh, there does seem to be a great beauty of truth and we occasionally uh, discover these truths and more importantly we occasionally even prove so the thing about mathematics versus, say, other sciences is we don't just look for truths which look like they're true from many cases and from uh, some physical experiments or maybe numerical experiments. Uh, the most important thing is to actually verify that it's true with an argument that's airtight, that in no world could it not be true. It's a true fact. Nobody will ever come to you and it's got a permanent value. Every mathematical theorem from Pythagoras' theorem that's, a, that's never going to change. And unlike other sciences where technology changes and what was important last year is no longer important because there's much better weight, much better technology, the uh, mathematics is here for good. The shelf life of a mathematical book, be it an old book of Euclid or something like that, is one of the greatest things is forever.